don't want to encourage students. Students are doing prizes and money. I'm the grits. <laughs> I'm, I'm living test to it. I'll give him a case study. <laughs> Heaps. Well, uh, it splits in two. There's a, a bunch of case studies, which I think are the fun part. So I talk about, you know, bicycle helmets, whether the evidence for making them legal or not is strong. Um, talk about obesity myths. Talk about uh, psychopaths and schizophrenia in the public eye. Um, things about, like, whether conservative politicians and people of conservative political persuasions um, more easily disgusted than people who are more liberal and uh, free spirited. Topics like that. There are many more, but I don't want to ruin the surprise. The main gist of it is to get people used to interpreting science beyond their own field, but in ways that vary. So it might be they'll have a quick conversation with someone about a particular science piece they've just read and compare it to the popular representation of it, like an ABC film clip or something, and they're going to go and read the paper and go, okay, how do we mesh these two together and have a chat? Um, I might ask them to interpret particular studies they haven't seen before and decide whether they're good or bad, but they have limited time frame. Um, I get people to review other people's major work analysing science-based social issues out in the real world, uh, which you know, is, is, it's a good idea. It's a good idea to review other people's work and be reviewed. <laughs> if my course was a movie, what would this one be? Oh, it'd be some kind of you know, drunken version of Dead Poet Society. How about that? Without all the the ridiculousness of people being too serious. If you give me some for example, how you 